What's going on YouTube? I'm uh, showing you a little video of my nano tank I got going right now. Uh, it's 25 gallon. Uh, for livestock I have, uh, I believe it's the bicolor damsel. I have a caramel clown, normal clown, my uh, neon damsel. Yeah, let's see if we can get close up on him. He's kind of chilling out on the rocks right now. See his head right there. I got an algae plenty. Maybe it'll come out later in the video. And for corals, I have this mushroom. Don't know what kind he is. Uh, maybe if you guys know, you can give me a heads up on what kind of mushroom he is. And my Kenya trees. And in between the rocks, I have a little zinnia. So. Uh, Kind of shoveled up right now. Uh, I gotta get them up on a rock. I gotta get some coral glue to glue them on there, cause if not, he just floats all around. And I had a little neon uh, pop, but he's. You know, I guess he doesn't want to be open. He was like to end the store. I have two Mexican turbo snails. There's one. I don't know where the other guy is. Oh, he's back in that corner right there. Just chilling. Usually move around that night. I have another kind of snail. For once in a while, I usually catch him when I turn the lights on the very morning. He was a hitchhiker from that coral. Um, I figure what kind of snail he is, but he, he doesn't have a shell. It's kind of funky looking, but he's kind of cool at the same time. I read online that <clears throat> it's a good snail to have, so, yeah. Uh, for food, I feed these guys, fish-wise. All my fish, actually, I feed them. It's the New Life Spectrum. These are the uh, one millimeter uh, kind. You guys love this stuff. Ridiculous how much they eat, what they, how they eat it. Lighting as of right now, I just have my two T5s. I have a 12,000 and an Artinic uh, for the time being until I get my uh, LED upgrade, I guess you can say. Alright, let's go for my filtration. I have a eShops Overflow. Um, as you all know, these lids don't come with. I made them. Uh, probably gonna try to make them with a little bit thicker stuff because between the heat of the light, they kind of flex because of how thin they are. I mean, they're almost thin. Which goes down to my sump that I'll show you then. This is my protein skimmer. Um, it's an Odyssey PS75. Uh, it's on a light light skim that's just from last night I got it all I emptied it out and adjusted it I gotta adjust it again once when I clean this next one out or empty I should say uh, so it gets a little more of a better heavier skim yeah, it's kind of light I think I mean that it's that's a lot for just what Ten hours worth, and I had the bubbles just so. Probably not gonna be able to see. You can kind of see the bubbles going. That's about where I have it at. I'm probably gonna drop it a little more. Uh, when I first got this protein skimmer, I had a hell of a time with it. Um, the bubbles were going all the way down into. I actually had it up on the tank, and I can't even can't even see in the tank because it was just blowing the bubbles right into the main tank, I mean it didn't even skim at all um, and I actually had to get a new YouTube for it because it actually broke on me so I had it in a t uh, five gallon bucket for probably a week and a half before I got the new stuff just using water from when I changed through my weekly water changes 
tried to get it broken in a little bit and then I uh, returned it here and actually had to do some modifications to the return. Let's see if you probably won't be able to see most of the modifications that I did, but as you can see, there's the return. It's going down into the sump. You won't be able to see because of how nasty it is. Hey, I'm not even going to try to show you. And then I had to put some filter floss on top uh, because it was just dumping the bubbles back into it, but it seems to. Uh, Working pretty good. There's no bubbles now. Before you could actually see, it was pretty cool. It was like a cyclone going through it. But yeah, anyway, I have, there's my pump that's going down in, and I have a little bit more ceramic filter media. And then I know I gotta change this sump setup. It's pretty nasty and not the best design. I, I uh, made my refugium a little too big and had to keep putting water in there every day. Um, 10 gallons are nice to have if you're going to have a, sump, a small tank, but they are a pain in the ass. Um, anyway, I have some Kato or Cheeto or Cheeto or Kato or whatever you want to call it, call it Kato in there, and then I have some Kimmy Pure. There's one bag and another bag of the Elite. There's my heater, and then as of for my return, I just, you know, hose going to some PVC with the ball valve. That way I can control it to turn it off for feeding so it doesn't go down to overflow. Um, it was up higher. I ended up dropping it down because I had two uh, maxi jets in there. That's a, and, uh, what is that? That's my 400, I believe. And I had a 900, and that was just way... Way too much. Um, it, was, it was just too much for it. Um, I was like 50 times over the water, 50 times water, the water flow. So it was just, yeah, uh, it just, it was way too much. So, so yeah, that's my nano. Um, uh, hopefully, I have some more updates on it. And here's my little Pico that I'm going to be setting up. It's a little five gallon. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it as a frag tank or another, you know, little reef with some shrimps and stuff. I'm not sure. Maybe a frag. I don't know. But yeah, that's what I got so far. Uh, thanks everyone. Have a good one. And uh, leave some comments. Let me know what you think of the tank. And you know, thanks.